please rise? If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are gathered here today to worship God, to give thanks for the life of Joseph Richard Kindrigan, and to affirm once again our hope in the resurrection, which all will be made alive in Christ. My name is Lisa Kincarameth. I am the interim pastor here at Grace Presbyterian Church, and I am joined in worship today by the Reverend Dr. Jay Click, whom many, many of you know. Uh, he is, of course, the former pastor of Grace and uh, Joe's pastor for many years. Let us stand as we are called into worship together. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble at its tumult, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Let us pray. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, you formed us from the dust of the earth. By your breath, you give us life. We glorify you. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, you tasted death for all humanity. And by rising from the grave, you opened the way to eternal life. We praise you. Holy Spirit, author and giver of life, you are the comforter of all who sorrow, our sure confidence and everlasting hope. We worship you. To you, O oh blessed Trinity, be all glory and honor, now and forever. Amen. 
Remaining standing, let's sing hymn 464, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Please be seated. In times of loss and grief, families and friends may draw comfort from each other and comfort from their memories of their loved one. Uh, sharing stories and remembrances is one of the ways in which we heal. So at this time, I would like to invite Steve Shinbaum, a friend of the family, to uh, share some of his memories of Joe. Um, Joe wrote a song with Brad Paisley not many people can say that. In fact, no one here can, but Joe can. And one of the lines in the song is, uh, oh, I have lots of friends and I have love. And it's like so simply complex, because that's kind of what it's all about. I have lots of friends and I have love. And uh, that's sort of, for me, what Joe embodies is this simply complex human being. The simplicity is in that statement, I have lots of friends and I have love, because I think it's what we're all yearning for in this really challenging world at times. And the simplicity in Joe is that he had to be present. I, I remember thinking when I would be with Joe, and I was with Joe through a variety of facets of my life, many times where I wasn't feeling comfortable, wasn't feeling secure, and wasn't feeling present for whatever reason, because we all have our flaws. And I remember thinking, I have to be present in Joe's presence, because he didn't have the worldly techniques of being able to maneuver out of a conversation. I mean, it would be kind of strange for him to just roll over your foot because you said a ridiculous joke. <sighs> Speaking of jokes, you better bring your A-game with Joe, because if it's funny, he'd laugh. If not, he'd tell you so. He would say, you need new material, Shemi. <laughs> he may have been right. And so I had to collect myself when I was around him and, and, and work through my stuff because I had to look him in his eyes. And there were times when you had to be OK in silence. He was beautiful at being comfortable being uncomfortable. That was his plight. And it forces all of us to hold a hand and just sit for a moment without having to fill some void. And to be grounded and to be intimate. 
and to make eye contact and to get to his level because he couldn't verbally maneuver the way we can at times and he couldn't physically do some of the things we could do. So he was just there dealing with us. And believe me, there were times he must think we were out of our minds. <laughs> and the complexity of Joe is where I would look at him and think, where is his mind right now? And I started to see that he would go places and there was so much more he wanted to share. Before I get to my favorite verse in the song, though, there was another verse, and the verse is, the, the line is, I can lift 500 pounds with my soul. And I, I missed a moment to share with Joe, because I looked on YouTube to see how many v listens this song is getting. It's like at 190,000. And I looked at comments. Don't always read comments on YouTube, because there's some interesting people that comment. But one well-intentioned person said, and the line is, I think I can lift 500 pounds with my soul. And the person wrote, I really love this song. I don't understand the line, I think I can lift 500 pounds with my big toe. <laughs> and, 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 and I could just picture like Ben and Sean and Rocco and Tim. And I could just picture us like saying, Joe, who writes that? Why would you write that you could lift 500 pounds with your big toe? And I could see Joe just like, you know, he'd be like, and it would get going, and that bit would continue because humor was medicinal to Joe, but you better bring your A-game. Joe was complex in that he was a healer. A lot of times we prayed for Joe's healing. I have to say that I had a chance to pray with Joe uh, about a month ago before um, the last time I saw him when I was here, and we prayed, and not something we did when we were younger, and he didn't pray for healing for himself. He prayed for us um, because he was a healer, and this is why God gave him favor to meet people of tremendous significance in this entire room to light us up. There is, an, it's irrational to think about all the people Joe touched. And in a eulogy, you always are going to say that people were touched by this person. That's kind of a standard. This is insane. He's like Forrest Gump. <laughs> it's irrational. Yes, he has a, a, amazing Tommy and Susie and Stacy and Jason. It, but Susie, as, as much of a fighter as she is, and she's a hustler in a great way because she fights for her kids, it still makes absolutely no worldly sense that he would meet a man of significance that has an impact on the world like Ben Affleck, being able to sit in Congress and talk about raising funds for AT, to meet Sean Podine and in the process meeting half of the NHL. I don't encourage everyone to do that, but it's a quite an experience. To meet separately from Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, that, was, that, was, that doesn't happen. To write lyrics and hand them to Brad Paisley and for Brad Paisley to say, who wrote this? I said, Joe did. He said, this is incredible. He switched two words to that song. That's irrational unless God has a plan for Joe to connect with people who can impact the world, which is this room. So that's the complexity in Joe. He was a healer because he forced all of us in our flawed way to just be and to hold his hand and to listen and to speak in concise words. The favorite line in, in Joe's song with Brad is, and I have my faith and more than you can see. And that's really it, folks. To have friends and to be loved, but to have your faith, because this young man was extraordinarily complex. And I think he wants us now to connect with one another as we support one another. And if you have nothing to say, just smile and hug and be. And if you have to hold a hand and be comfortable in the uncomfortable, which is really hard to do in today's day and age. But Joe didn't have the freedom of swiping through Instagram and acting like he's on something in order to disengage. He had to connect, and I think he wants us to as well. This was an extraordinary young man who got afflicted with a disease that 500 people in the United States, in Springfield, Virginia, it makes no rational sense for him to have the journey he had unless God had a plan. And I do believe he is in heaven because he had faith. And could you imagine what he's doing now and who he's connecting with now with the freedom to move and the freedom to speak? 
He is sitting with kings, and he is connecting them. And that is the simplistic, complex Joe that allowed me to be a little more connected, a little more grounded. I had to bring my A game, and I encourage you all, let's continue to get better material. That's what he wants. God bless him. Thank you, Steve, very, very much for many, many things, but especially your lovely thoughts about Joe, which you are spot on, and your material's great. <laughs> okay, let's all just take a breath. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I am, um, I'm honored to see all of you here with us today, and on behalf of Tommy, I'm going to have to read a lot, sorry, Steve. <laughs> on behalf of Tommy and Stacy and Jason 